today I'm going to show you how to fix this Benzomatic TS4000 torch that won't light. You hit the trigger, nothing's happening. No flame and no gas coming out. If I hold it up to my ear, I can't have any gas. I hold, I hold it up to the mic, and whether the mic can pick that up or not, you, all you'll hear is this outside noise. I'm going to take this inside and work on it. It warmed up a little bit today, but it's still only 25 degrees out here. And it's a little too cold to get into this. Plus, there's probably some small parts in there that I don't want to lose. So I'm going to take this inside, and we'll see what we have. Now outside, you saw that it wasn't getting any gas coming through. But I want to see if we're getting any spark out of this. When you press down, you should get a spark right here. Let me shut this light. Okay. Do it again. Okay, so, so the spark is working. That's not the issue. The issue is the gas not flowing through. I couldn't find any directions for this. But there's a Allen screw here and an Allen screw holding this piece on. And then there's this nut down in here. I'm going to remove this nozzle. I'm not sure if it's necessary. I'm just removing it because I never took one of these apart and I don't know what's in there. Let me turn that other light back on. I don't want to lose that set screw. Comes right out. Let's see what we have here. Something's holding it in, and I don't want to force it because I don't know what I'm looking at right now. I'm going to take this other one out. This one right below it. Now, this one's a little tough. Well, this is a Harbor Freight set, Pittsburgh has a warranty on it, and I think I'm going to be collecting on it. This one won't come out. I'm going to have to get another Allen wrench. This one's just bending up. It's not going to work. As soon as I get the other wrench, I'll loosen this up, and I'll be back. If I have to get this Allen screw out over here, I have a problem. I just got another Allen wrench, and the Allen wrench didn't bend, but the screw stripped. I even... Uh, I even sprayed some penetrating fluid in there before I started. If this is going to have to come out, I'm going to have to drill that out later. I'm just going to go to the other end, the bottom end now, and see what we can do over here. This is something else I'm having a problem with. So the worst case, it wasn't working when I got it. Okay. So, well, you can see there's quite a quite a bit of corrosion in here. I don't know how far. I don't know if this comes out or not. Okay, that's in there and it's not moving. So I'm not going to pull on it. It seems to be some kind of a spring. This on the other hand. side of this. I'm not sure if that's a filter in there or what it may be. See something. Can't blow through it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a thin wire through here, like a bread tie, and I'm going to poke it around and see if this piece comes out. I don't want to poke through it just in case it's a filter. Of course, these torches are made to burn where they, these torches are made to be used where you can turn them upside down. And this might have something to do with regulating the gas. I'm not sure. I don't know. And 
once I poke it a little bit, I'm going to spray some brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner through here. And I'm going to spray out in here also. I wish I could get this part out over here to see what was going on. But I'm going to play around with this off camera a little bit. See if I could pull this off. I don't know why this isn't coming off. It looks like it just pulled right off. And I don't know if it's being held. It's being held back here, not on this side. This side isn't being held. This side here is. Okay. I'm gonna go off I'm gonna go to off camera. I'm gonna clean this piece out. I'm gonna see what I can do about it in here. I'm gonna put it back together and see if I get any gas flow. As soon as I'm done, I'll be back. All right, I took this out, and I sprayed it with this brake cleaner. I sprayed in here, and nothing was flowing out. This was clogged. I did use the wire to go through, but it does stop. It hits. You can't see it, but I don't know if there's a filter. I'm not sure what that is, but it hits this. After spraying it several times, I was able to get a flow coming through this. Next, you recall, I couldn't get the screw out to get this piece off. And I was spraying in here, and my finger was turning black from carbon. When I went to put this together, I realized the top of this is like a nut. I unscrewed it, and you have this filter. This is similar to a filter you would find in a boiler, with the exception there's no nozzle on this end. So I'm not quite sure where this comes out of. Originally, I couldn't get this piece off. The reason it wouldn't come off, there was so much crud, in here, crud around here, that's what was holding it on. So now I'm going to put this back together, connect the tank of gas, and see if we get flame. I have this in a darker setting so you can see the flame. There we go. Oh, let me turn this around. I'm trying to get a better view on this. Yeah, I'm in the lens now. Here we go. A nice flame. Let's try it again. Okay, we have ignition. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, be sure to give it a like, post your comments and questions down below, and share it with someone else who may find it useful. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Oh, and not to miss any videos as I upload them, be sure to hit that notification bell. And as always, until next time, stay safe.